All right. What is up? Episode 25. 25. Wow. Izzy Nubra TV. What is up, Izzy? 25 days and 25 nights. <laughs> yeah, man. What's up? What's up? I'm good. How are you guys doing? What are you guys good, doing? Good, good. Not much, man. Had some uh, family guests over or whatever. First time in a while. But don't worry, guys. We were social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> we're making sure we're practicing our social distance, right? But uh, nothing, nothing major. Just yeah, chilling at home for the most part. Seeing people that when we can, or vice versa. Yeah. Us seeing them. Yeah. How about you? Anything new or? Yeah, I mean, uh, today I um, did some stuff. I. Like I, my wife went to buy some stuff for like some grill party or some groceries and, um, I was with the kids and we, I like mowed the lawn and oh, nice. sure just like some parts and also built up the trampoline. So, oh, trampoline time. Yeah, that was pretty stressful, but I had yeah. to get through it. So they, did you finally make it? Was it made? Yeah, I I, I yeah. got it. Everything finished. It's just I was like the kids like, you know, yeah, not easy. It's not easy with easy. Is <laughs> yeah, it's just like you know, this one wants this, this other one wants something else, and then you got to, you know, but we got it done, and yeah, so it's yeah. now it's built up, and then we got the lawn mode a little bit but other than that was the automatic thing that you mentioned before or was it you actually had to do it yourself i think you mentioned that one time was it automatic those like those ones that you see like in sweden like those automatic lawnmowers i uh no yeah no. <laughs> yeah i don't have that no no i i know what you mean those like robot lawn yeah yeah it's like robo mower or what is it called yeah yeah those are very popular in sweden they're popular here too a lot, but um, for for us, it's like I don't need that, you know. Yeah, these little guys here. Yeah. These here. Little yeah, those babies. are pretty cool, but um, they are. For me, it's like they're also pretty. They're like running constantly. Like they're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not like um they go and mow everything and then they come like they just mow like parts and then they come back charge and then they mow another part you know so it's like constantly mowing right but i mean if you don't want to do it you know and it's easy then why not i I just like that for to cut the grass i like that yeah like the, yeah of course the feeling and i also have like a sit mower like where you can sit on it Ah, oh, okay. But that's like too big for where we're at right now because that's for my <laughs> father in law. Yeah. But that's also pretty fun, but you need more grass for that. Yeah. This is the most adult thing ever, man. You're talking about lawnmowers. <laughs> <laughs> so it happens when you get older. No, I'm just kidding. No, that's cool, though. Yeah, that's what happens when you go to get a garden and yeah. have some space for people you know it's funny they mentioned garden like my, my parents or my dad was trying to make like uh like some picket fence stuff for gardens because garden season is coming up here soon yeah so they're trying to make like like the space for that yeah we already got our um our um garden stuff like we planted we're planting like some tomatoes and some different vegetables mm -hmm. and stuff like that and Got my, my, uh, I want to try to grow three plants, special plants, <laughs> three, three little plants. You know? I wonder what that is. No, I was kidding. I wonder which plants, but yeah, I want to, I want to grow those three and see how that goes. Yeah. Cool, man. Cool. What's the thing you haven't grown before food wise, or is that like you've grown everything for the most part or they, I mean, they have we've grown, grown like, um, 
not that much stuff, but like here some some herbs and stuff like that, and then yeah. also like some radishes and cucumbers and stuff like that, but nothing like you know a lot of like amount, just a little bit of stuff, you know. Yeah. You guys ever grow like mohane, quote unquote, you know, like green beans? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Those tall ass green beans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's easy. I think everyone can do that. Yeah. I mean, here it's like in the States, um, especially in the suburbs, it's like a like you have a certain restriction for how much you can grow. Like you can't grow over like, you know, like yeah, I yeah. think a certain amount. That's instead of like, I don't know, like you're blocking your view. You have to have some sort of like, public access or people can see what's going on you can't be hiding stuff yeah that's crazy yeah remember they can probably grow like a whole tree and no one will care right <laughs> no i'm just kidding now here they're also pretty like picky like you have to have like a um a standard height to do yeah. something you know which is like just crazy i think you know yeah if it's my property here then i can build whatever i want to build here yeah but right. no we gotta get approval yeah approval gotta get that certification certification yeah that's a big yeah. thing here they have like these things like german word of the day guys here we go Ready? deutsches wort des tages <laughs> it's <laughs> like um shine it's like a shine shine okay and that means like like a license you know? yeah and they make a license here for everything, bro. Like, they make a license for fucking having a chainsaw. They make a license for having a <laughs> freaking car, having a scooter, having a, you know, bike. Like, everything. You need, like, license for it. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Everything. What, it's crazy. What's, like, the most obscure thing that you know, that you heard of about someone had to get a license for? Or that you, that you had to get a license for? Or... That's a good question. I don't know. I mean, like the weird—that's pretty weird. Like you have to have a, you have to get a chainsaw license. Like, yeah, yeah that, that sounds that's that's a weird one to me too. Yeah. And they probably have that here, but I'm not sure exactly. Probably, that, probably, yeah. but it's just like weird, you know? Like yeah, let's put a license on everything. I mean, I get yeah, it but... for safety and stuff like that, but. If yeah. you if you get a chainsaw and you fuck your shit up, that's not my problem. You know what I mean? <laughs> Got to go all leather face in this. <laughs> uh, Go crazy. Yeah. But um, yeah, licenses. No, nah, like I said, I mean, speaking of like like kind of like the homeware home department, it's like I heard that. For example, like Home Depot right now, like if you go to places like Home Depot, these hardware stores, yeah. or just stores in general here, it's like it's super restrictive now too. Like they only let like one, two people in maximum. It's, oh yeah, it's so funny. Yeah, like yeah, I think it's also mom, pretty yeah. full that that um those stores like hardware stores right now. Yeah, it's always full. It's like throughout the year, like no matter what time, if it's winter, spring, summer, fall, it's like. You always have seasons for contractors, whatever, you know. It's pretty popular, you know. Like, right now, it's like, uh, like even yesterday, like, there were, like, all, like, the lawnmower businesses, like, were cutting grass, you know. Like, everyone was already doing that. Like, the season started, even though it's supposed to be quarantine mode. <laughs> now we got to cut the grass. Got to cut the grass. You got to build these houses that are being built around, all these, you know. All those Mexicans, eh, bro? Exactly. <laughs> no, for real. It is. It is. <laughs> Mainly them. No, I mean, I'm not hating on them. I think it's yeah. it's cool that they do that. And yeah. it's um, it's full legitimate way to do business and money and stuff like that. Like Exactly. That's perfect. I'm just, it's just funny that it's always Mexicans, you know? Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they've mastered the supply demand <laughs> they for a lot more. How to work the, the gardens now. Exactly. But yeah, I mean, it is definitely a big business here and probably throughout the states. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, that, 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 that'd be funny. Like, it'd be like seven in the morning, summertime as a kid. All you hear is outside <laughs> all morning. I'm thinking, like, what's going on? You know, like, oh, you just see them. <laughs> it's like every other day. Yeah, but they're there, you know, they keep working, they work. 
yeah. Meanwhile, the Romanians that were there are like selling. I don't know. <laughs> what's like what's like a, uh, what's it called the uh, equivalent to like that in Germany in terms of like these like kind of businesses or hustles that you see. Like a Mex like a Mexican gardener. Would yeah, you... yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah, here it's like more like um... <laughs> Romanian like folktale stories. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like Romanian people or like psychics, or, and I'm just kidding. Or like um, like uh, Polish people, or you know, like Eastern European, South European. You know. Yeah, yeah, interesting. They're like those the Mexicans here, basically. Like, like they do like lawn mowing services. They yeah, yeah, and contractors also do that a lot. Yeah, what's like a very common like ethnicity there that no one really talks about in Germany? That's like pretty like people there that the, like, like Turkish like, people. Oh really? Yeah. Like I think that's like the second or third most populated group here. Interesting. Yeah. You know, besides like white people. German people then comes like Turkish people I think but I'm not sure maybe we can check that but yeah yeah but um I think that they're like second or third and they're pretty yeah they're also here they're like a lot of Turkish influence here yeah mm -hmm. yeah that Austro-Hungarian Ottoman Empire influence <laughs> I was kidding <laughs> I don't know, one time we were talking about dogs and like how like, you know, how people are scared of dogs. And you said there's like that German phrase about like Turkish people are afraid of dogs, something like that. It's like a common thing, common phrase. Yeah, it's not a phrase. It's just like a per, like a fear, common fear. Common fear, yeah. From like those Eastern European slash, you know, those type of people over there. Right, right. Interesting. I'm trying to pull up the stats right now for this. Hold on one second. For the demographics. Okay, right here. Uh, German, Polish. Yeah, there's a lot of... Let me show that to you real quick. Nope, I don't want to share my screen. Thank you. Okay, let's see. You should get something now. But yeah, that's interesting, like... Turkish, yeah, like Greeks. It says right here, Greeks, Italians, yeah, Polish. Yeah, there's a lot of Italians here too. Syrians, yeah, we have a lot of Syrians here too. Uh, us Syrians too. I don't know if you guys have us Syrians. Syri Are you Syrian yeah, or us Syrian? Yeah, like where we used to live in Chicago. I don't if I remember, like, like we're all like you know the like by Warren Park. A lot of Assyrians and like Syrians. <laughs> Those people, man. Ah, uh, here. Okay, now I see it. If you go all the way down, it tells you who's who. This here, no? Australia, yeah. Good day, mate. <laughs> Good day, Dampf Noodle. <laughs> here, yeah. Okay, so yeah, German, Polish people, yeah, other EU members, Turkish, yeah. You see, Turkish people. Yeah. They're Russian. like the third largest group yeah but who knows what german excluding ethnic german rep 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 yeah. what the fuck 1784 is that? today guys 1784 today repetrates who is what is this right here <laughs> repetrates repatriatus repatriatus <laughs> i don't remember this send someone back to their own country oh, that's what it means but that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, how can you, I don't know, send back okay. to their own country? Or are you saying the people that were already here come back to the same spot? I don't know. The originals. The OG Germans. <laughs> the OGs. <laughs> Let go of the, the OGs. Shout out to them OGs. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. That, when I see stuff like that, it's like, that, that, that how you talk about before, it's like, the top how you define a, a group of people is like super vague you know it's like okay the first ones who came there okay i get it but i mean those so many people within that too like everyone comes from somewhere you know yeah. yeah i mean 
that's that's also a thing you know it's like the people over the years they lose their you know lineage slash you know whatever you want to call it and then history yeah, yeah history you know and then they think like oh it's you know everyone is coming from this or from that you know and it's just you know you don't know because you never can actually know <laughs> Because it's not going to yeah. be, you know, constantly updated towards your life. You know, it has to be, you know, different yeah. than what you what think you, is going to be. Exactly. What, what do you think about that, that that phrase we like to say, like for debates, like um, we are all immigrants, right? They say we're all immigrants of a country or a nation. That there is no, like, for example, like in America, right? Yeah. They always say all oh, natives and all these people were the first you know, immigrants, they weren't Europeans first here, you know. Yeah, but who's, who's, who knows, you know, like this thing. Yeah. I'm definitely, I think that, you know, if you want to follow cer certain stories, whatever, you know, they say, oh, there was tribes, groups, you know, small groups or whatever, and hunter gatherers and all that stuff. What they yeah. say, you know, I don't know, probably, but. They also then are all constantly on the move, right? They always used to say that. You remember when you're in school? Yeah, 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 yeah. They are nomadic or whatever, you know? Yeah. And now, you know, it's like different. So it's just it's just interesting, you know, what is because it's 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 completely different than it was, you know? Yeah. Shout out to Mesopotamia. No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 that used to always be funny to talk about in class or social studies. The Neanderthals. <laughs> oh yeah, Neanderthals. Let's, let me pull up that. The the, the Neanderthal. Neanderthal. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's I, that that actually took me a long time to say that like that because I used to always say how how about Neanderthal, but it's like Neanderthals. It's like you have to say it like that or something. I don't know how to actually properly pronounce it. Neanderthals or Neanderthals. I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those words. It's this. Shout out to the ne Neanders. Neanders. Netherlands. I'm just going to pull up some images. Yeah, they, like that, that was actually a class I took anthropology one. We talked about Neanderthals. <laughs> How they're nice. like pretty much the closest like lineage to humans that, of today. Damn. Look at these titties right here. <laughs> hold on, hold on. The Neanderthal tits, man. Neanderthals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Apparently, there was actually like some breeding amongst Neanderthals and like today's humans. Like, there's like a there's like a mix of one of these people. I don't know where, but but uh, they exist in Bosnia. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Got him. Let's go. Uh, that was good. <laughs> yeah, dude. In Bosnia. <laughs> oh shit. Yo, I'm about to get hella heat for that. I'm just kidding. The Neanderthals. Nah. Watch out. Yeah, but that's um. <laughs> <laughs> that that was a great topic. Yeah, that's. Those skulls and those like, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, every, I think it's just a specific, like that's, that's that same shit. Again, let me put that shit in a class. Let me put that in a, you know, in this that's tree, right. in this tree of evolution. We got to classify everything. Yeah. That's like happening for hundreds of years. And then people are going to say, oh, racism doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Yeah. Or like, you know, stereotypes. That's you shouldn't be doing that. That's not cool. <laughs> yeah, but We're you're doing right. it, you know? Like yeah, you're yeah, putting yeah. them in there. We're not actually Homo sapiens or Homo arachnids or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like something like that. Homo erectus or something. Yeah, Homo erectus. Yeah, hominids. Yeah, dude, I haven't ever had to study that for a little bit. But um <laughs> Yeah, I think I said yeah. I didn't, I don't know if I studied that, but I know I studied like some scientific namings of like the humans, 
you know, bones and species and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I'm looking up right now Homo sapiens, like Wikipedia right now. Apparently, like, we've been existing since 300,000 years ago. How they said we started in Africa and then came out, which, Pangea. I mean, Pangea, yeah, we talked about it before. Is that Pangea movement? <laughs> Let's bring back Pangea. Let's bring back Pangea, guys. <laughs> Hi, I'm, my name is Ibra, and I'm campaigning for Pangea 2020. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but, um, guys, yeah, we're that... all part of one. <laughs> We're all one family, one that's, group. That's like the, that's also like a argument for like, um, these, like communists and like globalists and yeah, yeah, stuff, yeah. You know, they can. They, that's also an argument like for them. You know, it's like, yeah, we're all one. We're all you know together. And yeah, that's true. But you know. Do we want to be, you know, controlled by one person, everyone? I don't know. You know it's like, I feel like at this point, it's getting to that point more and more these days. Yeah, it's crazy, you know? It's like all of a sudden, you have to change your lifestyle, you know? Yeah. Everybody waiting for that new stimulus check in America. Everyone keeps talking about that. Oh, my check is coming in. My check is coming <laughs> in. Got to get that young yeah. socialism in the building. But, I mean, it, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, that's happening since a long time. Yeah. But it's just uh, now it's like everything is being tracked and followed. You know, we're, we know how much money and who got it and all that stuff. And where is it going to go? You know, so. Yeah. I mean, yeah, how you said, like, I think it's like, yeah, we're all together, one, but to have everyone all controlled at the same time, I don't think people realize the implications or how powerful or how serious that is you know like once it's but once you put it in practice you know yeah i mean if i think people should like try to you know do what they want to do keep trying you know don't just think oh now everything is over like i'm not i'm not thinking that like i'm still going outside you know doing stuff yeah. driving somewhere you know i'm not going to be like oh i can't do anything you know like Right. That's also like kind of putting yourself in like prison, you know, it's like I'm officially retired, guys. Guys, I can't do nothing. It's over, guys. I'm just going to lay over. here. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to just weep. <laughs> weep. Yeah, yeah, but you can do stuff still. Yeah. Most, most stuff that are like fun to do or interesting, then it's closed. But I think now soon, if that keeps going for next weeks and months, then people are going to be more outside, you know, grilling, having fun, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. They will definitely like, they have to, they will. P um, people are new anyways. Like when the weather was nice here, like it's the, uh, the weather here has been so bipolar, by the way, it's just been, <laughs> it's like one day it's like really hot weather. Control. Yesterday, weather control. Yeah. It's like snowing the other day, like for a couple minutes and then it's like raining and then it's like really hot and then calm. Everyone's outside whenever it's nice, you know. Oh, you but. know what's funny? If if like they're like now, oh guys, you see, you've been at home. Now you've observed global warming, and now yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I saw that somewhere too. It's like that's like like someone was like, oh, what if this whole thing is just to prevent people from spreading global warming more or something? Like they want to like retain all the pollution for now. That's why they're doing all this, you know, quarantine. That's a yeah, theory. Maybe, I'm seeing. You know? Or maybe that shit is like excuses not working anymore. You know? Yeah. The, when you when you're, when you're all warming, guys, we're the stats. Bring up the stats, guys. You sorry, the guys. We have a virus, so we cannot talk about this right now. Yeah, but that's how it is, though. Like whenever there's some pressing issue for like five minutes of the world, that's the main thing. And then the moment that's over, it's like, oh yeah, I remember that five years ago. Like, oh yeah, yeah, I remember that Corona thing. That's why. That's why I hope it should be. You know. I want this thing to be like, oh, five years from now, it's like, oh, remember that thing that we all had to stay home for for like two weeks or something or like whatever, five months. Yeah. And it's like, and that's those, it. There's those Indians like naming their babies Corona and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you saw that article, but um, yeah, that, that was funny. Corona and COVID-19. <laughs> yeah, they're running out of ideas. I saw this other TikTok <laughs> the other day. That was pretty funny. She's like... This one guy, woman's like, uh, asking, 
like oh hi like it's like 2040 like 2050 yeah what's yeah. your name what's your name and she's like my name's social social yeah and, and, social. She's, and she's like do you have a do you have a middle name or something and she's like yeah it's distance <laughs> You say it again. Is this thoughts? This thoughts. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. So shawl distance. <laughs> My name is. Uh, that's some French shit right there. <laughs> social distance, bro. My name is social distance. And then there was this other one saying, "What did she? What did she say? Quarantina or something?" Quarantina, yeah. Sharkisha. You ever seen that video? No, I'm okay. Which one? Sharkisha. Drakisha. Girl, Sharkisha. Sharkisha. The, the girl's like beating up other girls. She's like, Sharkisha, no! <laughs> She's no, beating her up. Is that? I don't know if you can play that because you might get we might get flagged for that. But it's like an old video from like 2012 or 13. Back in Sharkisha. 2013. Many, many generations ago. No, I'm just kidding. But it's like a it was like a viral video at one point where this guy this girl was fighting another girl, these two black girls. Yeah. One of them was like Sharkisha, and they're like, Sharkisha, no! She's like beating the shit out of this girl, dude. <laughs> She's like kicking her, punching her, everything. For Keisha, bro. Yeah. These uh, school fights or kid fights. That's a, I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> People are putting on YouTube. Yeah, those are pretty interesting. Yeah. <laughs> those street fights and stuff. Yeah, I remember one time in Chicago, there was like that one Asian kid that was like jumped by like so many people. That was that was so crazy to see. What like, happened? Went, like back like I think 2010 or 2011, like during the winter time, there was like one kid being jumped by like ten people at once. It was like, right. and and they filmed that. I don't know. They just were picking on this one guy. They took his like his stuff, his clothes, or his, his backpack, just beating him up. And like the guy that like one of the guys they caught in the camera, they sued him. I think he's going to prison or whatever. I don't know, but I'm like, why would you like? I don't get it, man. It's, it's random. Yeah, I mean, that's that could happen. You know, that's the thing. You don't know. And yeah. I've been, you know, I kind of like, I'm interested in that MMA world, and you know, I follow some stuff about it, but not like hardcore. But yeah, it's like it's pretty cool. It's interesting, you know. It's like a natural phenomenon, you know, like fighting, you know. But yeah, it's the the guy that Dana White guy. He's like, yeah, we're gonna get an island. We're gonna continue. Yeah, yeah, fights. I heard about that. Yeah, and I was like, okay, bro. That's this sport funny. is my life. I have to dedicate my life to this thing. This sport means everything to me. I mean, that's fine, but um, you know, an island? What is this like? Yeah. What is that movie? There's a movie like that. Or something. They're fighting an island. Yeah, the, or like some island. Total Recall, like in the Mars race, racing or some shit. Death race or <laughs> what oh, is death this? race? Yo, death race. <laughs> <laughs> I never seen that, but I know that movie. I know that movie. It's Death Race, bro, but MMA. Yeah. Was there a game about that too? Death Race? There's a game about that, I think. I think, there's, game. I think it's called something else. It's Hold called on, let me see. Robot, Robot Junk or some shit? Or, I don't know. Hold on, let me see if I can find a game. That's That was a cool game. That's a cool game. It was, it was pretty popular back, back then. We used, was you, where you used to like have... Um, it was like you could build your own car or something. You can like, you like fight against other cars and stuff. I don't. I don't even remember. Oh, let me see if I can find it. It's actually a good question. What is that? What is that stuff called, man? Yeah, that cover used to always freak me out. Like that guy, like with the mouth open, is like that bike inside of the bike inside of that bike. You know what I mean? I think so. That, yeah. co that cover. What game is that? It's gonna piss me off. I can't know. Comment in the live stream. Comment. Yeah, whoever's watching, <laughs> Lumuyo. I'm just kidding. Uh, video game it was like Death Race video game. I think it's called yeah. like Robot Junk or something. Robot Junk. Robot Junk. Let's see. Nah, that's not, that's not it. Nah, this is like the question of the day right here, guys. Let's see how quickly we can find it. <laughs> You're the research king. What was that? It's like it's like an old like like 1989 um, video game with racing. 
Oh, remember Gran Turismo? Not, that wasn't that one, though. Is it this? There were so many racing games in 1999. Roadkill? No. Was it, I think it was Roadkill. Yeah? Hold on. Roadkill. Or was it something else? Let me see. I think it was something else. I think this was it. I think this was it. Yeah? Hold on. No, there's actually multiple parts to it. No, this wasn't it. No. This, this is like a racing game. Yeah, I remember... Dude, when I used to grow up at like Rogers Park, they had this video store. Shout out to Sage Videos. It's still there, believe it or not. Like, they had like cassettes and rentals. Oh, really? And to this day, it's still there. Which I don't know, I don't know how it's... I don't know if it's even open now. But I'm pretty sure it is open, but... That, that that was my spot, man. I used to always go there to rent video games or rent movies or kids shows, whatever at the time. That was a funny. That was funny. How long? How long did you do that till? Oh man, so from we were there from like since I was like born to like oh six or seven. So I used to be there from like oh four to like oh eight or oh seven. Used to always walk by there. There's actually a funny story. One time when I was a kid, um, my mom and I were going to go like at, at nighttime, whatever. And I actually jammed my finger in the door and it really almost messed up my finger really bad. Like I was trying to close the door or something. I jammed my finger and I'll never forget. Like, like we still went to the video store. And my, I had my finger, my middle finger was like covered in paper and we had to go get a movie or something. But that was a while you were injured. Yeah, I was injured, but I mean, of course, I was covered. I was fine. Like it wasn't like crazy. It was just like I cut my my finger a little bit. From what? But I still have I, I, I from the door jam. Oh wow. I still have the mark to this day right here. I don't know if you can you can't you can't see that, but that, that shit was painful, dude. I thought I lost my finger, bro. I swear to God, but I didn't. Thankfully. Thankfully. Um, no, I um, can't find that game though. Yeah, I can't find a game. Shit. It's, it's going to bother me for some reason. But, yeah, those kind of games are fun. Oh, remember that game I used to have? Uh, Drive to Survive? Remember that game? Drive to Where Survive? Like, that game I, flew in, I used to have for my PS2. It's like um, it's like a helicopter filming you playing. Like the cars driving four cars, you know? And like you have like power-ups. You can shoot people. You can what is blow people up. Drive to Survive. PlayStation 2 or? Yeah, you can probably find it for everywhere, but that was my game. Oh, this. It's funny. This mashed, you mean? No, no, no. It's a video game with or cards. whatever it's called. Yeah, mashed. There you go. Yeah, I used to always call it. I think they had like the second name for that. Yeah, mashed. Yeah, this is my game, bro. And what was that about? It's like you're just racing, and like you have opponents, and you have like power ups. But the weird thing, it's like it's filmed like on a helicopter view, so like you're always like seeing things from above, oh, and like yeah, if you're okay. if you're too, if you're too far away, they blow you up. Like you have to be with everybody. <laughs> if you're winning too hard, you got to go back. Yeah. No, I never forget finding that game. I don't remember that one store. Remember, shout out to Lincolnwood Mall. Remember that place, Lincolnwood oh, Mall? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a spot called KB Toys, which doesn't exist anymore. They went bankrupt a long time ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I remember that. Yeah. KB Toys. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I was there with my mom one time. We were just shopping, whatever. And at like a video game section, like all the games, like we can buy for cheap. And I saw the cover. I'm like, what is this game? And I remember I picked it up. Like, mom, let me get this game, whatever. And I got it. And it was like one of the best things I've ever gotten. Like, it was such like, it was like a hidden gem, you know? It's like, like one of those games that no one knows about, but it's like super fun to play. Yeah. I still have it to this day. I like that. At Mario Kart 64, I like that game too. Yeah, dude. That's pretty fun. Yeah. And also, Shout uh, out. what's it called? That GTA San Andreas, best game. Right? Oh, man. When that game came out, dude, I was like, wow, this is like game changing right here. Yeah. I remember my cousin used to play it all the time. How many crazy, like, cheats and stuff you can do in it? It's yeah. R1, R2, F, like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, the helicopter just like drops. <laughs> yeah, shroom. I'm like you got infinite ammo, infinite health. You remember when you used to go to the gym, like to the 
Yeah, 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 yeah. And Andreas. <laughs> yeah. Just did like yeah, two, CJ. two curls and you're like, ah, respect, respect. Yeah. Sexuality, boom. <laughs> it goes up. Yeah. Did you ever play that yeah. Sims? I never played it, but I knew cousins that played that all the time. I never. It's been like a girl game. game. Mainly girl cousins I knew play that all the time. Yeah, that's a big phenomenon for them. Yeah, Sims and like, uh, like those games like you have to like like watch out for the pets, you know, like you have to feed the pets. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Oh, I have to feed my dog. Hold on, guys. Hold on, I gotta feed my dog. I gotta take him outside. <laughs> yeah, <Hold on>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get a real one. Yeah, that's how it was. Or like how um. Like what other games? Yeah, like family games. Like you have to like cook food for a family, the mom and dad, whatever. The kids. Those are some lame games. <laughs> <laughs> or, or remember that? Like I don't know if you I don't know if you had that at, at uh, high school for you, but like um, I, I, I like I never had it, but like what's it called? Civics class? Or, like not civics. Um, like the baby class. You have to, like the freaking uh, oh, what's it called? Yeah, yeah. With the is it called flower health? health? Yeah, or something. Health and education. Like, like, but the part like with the baby, like you have like a freaking flower. You gotta like raise the flower, like a baby Did you doll. Do that? No, I never had that. Thankfully, thankfully, I never right. had that either. No. Yeah, like you have to like take this like baby doll and like feed it and carry it and take it yeah. with you to events. Yeah, I had cousins used to come to like parties and they freaking have a baby. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Really? Oh, it's for class. It's my class. Yeah, because because you can't leave the baby at home because it's like a like a sensor, like a monitor. We probably turn that shit off. Like you have to. I don't know. They probably they probably track that. <laughs> tracking you. We're tracking. We're tracking. Yeah, are you feeding this baby or no? <laughs> Could but, um, what, 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 what is that? That's a real oh, baby monitor. monitor. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's real. Yeah. No dough here. No dough here. I wish. It's all, it's all but... <laughs> baby dough. <laughs> Yeah, but that yeah, those kind of classes were fun or funny to see. No, we had one sometimes that health class. I remember that. Yeah. In Canada. But in the in the Catholic school, they didn't have any of that. That's weird. Yeah. They didn't believe in that. You have to have a real child or whatever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, you gotta have uh you can only get married and then have sex. Yeah. For some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> the catholic life yeah i think they're gonna get yeah. fucked up too because right now there's like no one's allowed to go to church and shit yeah yeah and they're I'm losing be- a lot of money i think because they rely on people giving them money you know and... yeah it's true well it's funny because there's actually recently like i think yesterday other day like you know how like every year like during like easter like during because right now it's easter or this time around yeah and, like you know how like they have like those Mainly, like, 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 I mean, I see like my like, like those Hispanic communities do it a lot, where they have like uh, the walking of Jesus, like they have walk on the streets and they just walk, and they re- they reenact. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, dude, I'm not making this up. <laughs> they make like they reenact death death walk or what? What is it? Like, like, yeah, like I never forget, like, like the like even like during the summertime, like for Christmas, like they will walk in the middle of the highway, like they're walking, they're carrying like this huge cross and like. They're whipping the guy that's supposed to be Jesus. And like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, hundreds of people just walking. You're like, what's going on here? And it's like just them walking towards the church, you know, Ooh, or from the church. Whipping, whipping Jesus. Yeah. Kill him. Yeah. Crazy. But that's... um. That's crazy. I don't know, man. That, that's, that's, that's a big thing here. But they're like, like the mayor and stuff like that in Chicago is like, oh, we got to shut that down. You guys got to stop doing that. You know, you gotta calm that down for now. Stop with that Jesus shit right now, for real. No, we, we gotta take care of our health right now. Jesus didn't have a, have Corona, so goodbye. <laughs> I mean, who knows what kind of diseases were back then over there? Probably the simple stuff that we have now. Probably that chicken worse pox stuff. Probably, but yeah. weaker stuff. Like it's no one knows, but I I find it funny like that people still do that that jesus shit and putting jesus on the jesus yeah whipping jesus let me whip him 
Yeah. Careful what you say, it's more, I, is he going to get a lot of people hating? I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, it's, no. just, it's just like, what is this Jesus all about? Yeah. But, um, yeah, that, that, that was a thing. It's, it's still a thing, you know? And yeah, how you said, like, with this disease right now, corona, whatever, it's like, yeah, people uh, can have less of that. Less donations. Less, less donations, which we talked about before in that one episode. But, yeah, that's... A lot of these industries are going going down. That we depend on depend on people the most. Meanwhile, grocery stores don't give a f, dude. They're just like <laughs> there's thousands of people that don't care. Like social distance does not exist in grocery stores at all, yeah. which is like the worst place to be in. You know, Every, everyone is like uh, like you know like those like um, Trump like what's it called press conferences here. They're always saying, "Yo, do not go to grocery store. That's number one. Don't don't go there." Yeah, everyone's going there, you know. It's like they have to. But yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it's is it cuz of, you know, we're getting aware of it or is it cuz it's like, you know, just scaring people or I don't know. It, right now apparently like the curve in Chicago, for example, is supposed to go down. The curve is going down. It's oh, flattening. The models. Yeah. <laughs> They're going down, guys. The but. computer simulated models were We've corrected them, <laughs> and they're going down again. <laughs> Haters in the club. It's going down. <laughs> we corrected uh, the simulations, and we will be posting them soon. Hashtag um, Cladex 2020. Cladex. <laughs> Cladex is coming down. <laughs> Shutting down, guys. But, um, it's just crazy. That's why it's like, try to do your own thing. Try to be happy and you know that's it exactly man fuck what everyone else saying because as you can see <laughs> when everyone says same shit it gets crazy yeah nah dude it's not nah, like i don't know like it's just funny to see like everyone has different opinions like apparently 55 percent of americans are wearing masks which i don't know how true that really is but I do see a lot of people wearing masks here and there, yeah, stuff I like mean, that. If you want to wear masks, wear masks. You know, I'm not going to be wearing masks anytime soon. But <laughs> you're going to be like that. Uh, what's it called? The the Jabberwockies. You know those guys, the dancing guys <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with the mask. The anon <laughs> like, who anonymous. Who the hell is this guy? Or whatever. Yeah, I'm going to wear those, anonymous. Yeah. We are anonymous. Oh, we dude, that's are funny. Legion. Yeah. <laughs> forgot about those guys man we're gonna get hacked wow. so. yeah we're gonna get uh you heard of this thing called the uh, zoom bo zoom bombings no, <laughs> we're gonna get zoom bomb so probably that's like a new like threat like if you go on zoom somebody just hacks into your feed and does some random shit like i don't know like just say random stuff or do crazy stuff in your zoom zoom and they hack chat to your computer or no I i'm not sure probably yeah but that that's been a popular freight a popular um topic these days too like all these hackers and stuff like that, especially like um, I actually saw like a segment about this last night. Like they're like a lot of these scammers, right? Oh, hey, we're gonna sell you these uh um these vaccines. Just pay us, you know, PayPal, whatever, <laughs> like <laughs> on the hookup. <laughs> Yo, we it's got like these old grant. Corona vaccines. We are keeping them strictly undercover. Do you want one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's like some old lady they target. Send me. It's just a thousand per <laughs> shot. That's it. Yeah, like, like, like this. Apparently, this one guy, like, he actually got like pretty. Uh, Ninety-seven. Yeah, he's like he got banned for that because oh, he was like he was selling like these vaccines. He's like, oh yeah, I have the cure, guys. Like, I'm gonna sell this shit. I think that was one like news guy or some shit. Yeah, he was like a like an like an actor, like a bodybuilder guy. I don't know if you saw that. Or was he like a? He's like a preacher or some shit. I don't even know. And oh, that like guy, yeah. Selling like lead bullets or some shit, or like silver yeah, yeah, bullets yeah, yeah, yeah. for yeah. You take the silver <laughs> pill, and oh, I don't even know. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that. it was that guy too that they talked they talked about yesterday. Yeah, that was funny. It's like Buy here, my course is... and you can get. <laughs> can you imagine they do that nowadays? Like these oh, entrepreneurs, like, like hey. Go on our webinar. Let's solve Corona together, guys. Hi, my name is Jacob Stevenson. I'm here to solve Corona. 
I'm a doctor. I'm a YouTube doctor. I watched <laughs> 10,000 hours of YouTube videos. I'm a medical trained professional. I'm trained, guys. I, I've watched a lot of YouTube, so be careful. <laughs> okay. Wikipedia, don't got shit on me, guys. <laughs> Watch out. No, I saw, you know, that guy, um, Ty Lopez. Yeah, yeah. Here in my he, garage. He's like making some fucking discount videos or like emails. <laughs> And he was selling ten thousand <laughs> cor courses worth yeah. ten thousand, like all of his courses for one hundred sixty-seven bucks. Yeah, isn't that funny? The the number seven though. They always say, "Oh, I'll get my course for one sixty-seven, thirty-seven ninety-nine, whatever." Or yeah, yeah. they always do seven as opposed to nine or whatever the actual price. Yeah, that, that's that's just like a psychological thing, you know. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it looks it's cheaper. Four hundred, but it's actually three ninety nine. Ooh, you know, like yeah, it works for masses, but for me, you know, I get it. I got. I'm you. beyond I, that I, shit. I'm onto your shit. Okay? Yeah. I, when we used to do e-commerce, the thing that used to piss me off, that which I, it hit me like like I didn't realize until like high school when they'd be like, "Oh, get it for free. Just pay shipping and handling." And it's like the same price of the thing. Yeah. I'm like, oh, now I get why they do that. Yeah. That, that was such a scam, dude. <laughs> I mean, that's not a scam, but it's what is yeah, yeah. for me is what's funny is like you have courses and shit for 10,000 and then you sell it for 167. Yeah, that's a huge I'm discount. Like, I'm like, what? <laughs> is the product that bad or what's going on here? <laughs> you no, know, it's just like an interesting thing for like other customers, you know, like. Yeah. You paid whatever thousands of bucks, and you, true, now true, you yeah. get all of this for one sixty seven. It's like that, that. That is bogus. That's crazy, but that's just business. You know, he's he's probably like testing different prices and shit all the time. So yeah, you know. But I'm it's not hating the, on anybody. I'm just saying it. It was just funny as hell. It's all about the digital assets, bro. Well, the, I have, have seventeen courses. Those have given me revenue streams since 1993. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it is, though. No, I mean, you know, sometimes you can make a video or a course or whatever, and it keeps making you money. That's that's a real thing. That's not. Yeah. That's not like we're just we're of course we're bullshitting, but that's a real thing that actually exists. You know. For sure. It's just not that common, you know, because you have to spend some time. And shout out to. Mike Chang six pack shortcuts. Remember those videos? Mike those ads? Chang. Remember that guy? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. The, so. Like, the, he is like the OG at like YouTube ads. Hey, my name is Mike. Here I'm with these six pack abs. Whatever. Did you? Uh, does he still exist or no? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but I think he stopped doing this. The courses. But I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he was an OG online marketer. The like OG. the real. He's the, the OG og. guys. He's the og. <laughs> He's the ogus. But um, Mike Chang six pack shortcut. Yeah, one of the most subscribed fitness channels on YouTube. Really? Yeah, that's what it says on his page. He <laughs> according only has to him, hundred thousand subscribers. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> or does he have another channel? Probably has like older accounts or like, yeah, he definitely had like one of the first like viral like fitness channels on the internet. Or this what is it called? CEO of six pack shortcut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, now he has sixpackabs.com. Okay. Yeah, man. Shout out to Mike Chang. Or no, is that something else? I think that's him. Six pack shortcuts. Yeah, that's him. Or now he sold it to sixpackabs.com. Oh, guys. <laughs> Let me show you guys how to do your morning routine and how to live your life. Let's go. If you guys want to live your life, then I'll just tell you how to do that. <laughs> how to live your life. Yeah. This course right here is going to tell you how you should live. Thank you. Yeah. Got the guy. Get, get those hands, bro. Exactly. Yeah. Just do it. <laughs> That's it. Battle race. Bro, so I'm trying to think about that game that we were talking about a while back. It's still, it's still bothering me, dude. Like, I'm not going to leave the episode until we figure this shit out. <laughs> I don't remember. What was the name of that thing, man? It's like a bit, it's like bothering me now. Destruction or something? I think it was destruction. Something like that, yeah. 
destruction, death race, video game. Destruction derby or whatever? Not death, no. Is it that? No. Destruction derby? No, I don't think it was this. Or was it? it, it like a very cool, like uh, covers, always. What what did you say with the cover again? And like a like a it was kind of weird. It's like a like a mouth open, like with a mouth inside of a mouth inside of a mouth. It's like a bicycle. If you can find that, uh, what a game cover mouth inside of a mouth. <laughs> you freaking find what's that movie called? <laughs> what's that one movie called? Human centipede or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> the human centipede. Did you watch that? Oh hell no. It's, pr it's pretty did you, crazy. Did you watch that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah. I watch it all the time. Watch it every day. It's a good family, family movie, guys. My part of my morning routine, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you watch. You watch. <laughs> human centipede every at six a.m. sharp. You got to watch this movie. It would change your life. Guys, it's part of my morning routine. You got to yeah. cleanse. You got to cleanse. <laughs> <laughs> detox, detox. <laughs> We're detoxing. <laughs> We're juicing, guys. We're juicing. That's a good clip right there. <laughs> human centipede? Detox. Oh, man. The human centipede detox. <laughs> this is the new program right now. <laughs> it's a new trend. You just put your mouth on my anus and suck it out. Go ahead. Ugh. Try it. That's so weird, man. Is yeah, but I can't. I can't find that cover, man. That's how. The, but that's how the cover was. Like the guy's <laughs> on a bike. Smuck smackdown. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Yeah. Here comes the thing. But that, that's actually from Kung Fu Pao, dude. Or Kung Fu, Yeah, you're mixing those two things up. <laughs> no, no, no. Here comes the pain. That's uh from. Or is it a thing? Oh, smackdown. That's like with Brock Lesnar on like the I walk cover. I don't know if you yeah, can Brock Lesnar. Him. Shout out to Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Smackdown, here comes the pain. Oh, that was, that was... I used to play that, like, all the time. <laughs> Who's your all-time favorite wrestler, by the way? Hmm? <laughs> Who's your favorite wrestler of all time? Like, your, one of your favorites. Oof. There's too many, right? I mean, I liked... Um, who was, like... My favorites was like Goldberg. I like Goldberg back in the days. And I used to always confuse him with uh, uh, Austin, Austin, Stone Cold yeah. Steve Austin. Yeah. yeah. Steve Austin was pretty interesting and The Rock. No. Yeah. And that Kurt Angle was also one of my guys. <laughs> All these bald dudes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And who else? Yeah, there were like a lot of funny guys at that time you can't see me john cena boy yeah that was i don't like it yeah like jeff jeff hardy hardy as a boys. person or anything but as that character is not my character wait what do you mean he's a character that says he's a real personality I'm just <laughs> that's <laughs> wait it's it not real yeah you can't see him Wrestling he teleports <laughs> wait what but um yeah i mean Rey Mysterio, Michaels, Undertaker. You know, there's like... Yeah, Triple H, DX. Booker T. Oh, yeah. I have Booker T. There was that one movie. What was it called with the wrestlers and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it was like shit. one one guy from like American Pie or some shit. Or one yeah, of those yeah. Movies. Yeah, there's one of those movies, yeah. WWE Entertainment. They have their own film company. They make their own movies. That was pretty funny. Yeah, Rey Mysterio. You had. Oh, my, my favorite was those Dudley Boys 3D. Dudley. Those, the the tables and shit. That was so yeah. amazing. I used to watch that a lot. Even though I never was into it like that, I, I watched clips like that. Yeah, Sunak. You know Sunak. And what's that? The one I scared me the most was his name, Boogeyman. Oh my god. Boogeyman. Ate the worms and shit. <laughs> that scared me, dude. That was funny as hell. That was so nasty to me, bro. Yeah, there's some funny guys. 
Kane and stuff like yeah, that. Kane. Kane, yeah, Kane. Yeah, Kane. Kane used to scare the shit out of me like back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, that one movie. What's that movie called? Uh, See No Evil. Remember <laughs> that? No. See No Evil. I, I never watched it, but I know he was in that shit. See, he was scary. Like he plays like a killer in that movie. Yeah. Damn. This movie came out in 2006, man. Holy crap. Yeah, see no evil, dude. Oh, this? Okay. Creepy ass cover. Yeah, see no crazy. Perfect movie. Damn. A reclusive maniac terrorizes a group of young petty criminals. Yeah, it's always the same shit. Australian American slasher. No, but that's. Yeah, those guys are like you know popular. You know? Yeah. The the one guy from Chicago, CM Punk. I remember that guy. CM Punk, yeah. CM Punk. Um. I remember he tried to like go to the UFC and he got fucked up hard. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who did pretty good? I think Brock was like the first main guy to do pretty well, I right? I think it was actually that guy. Kurt Angles. What's his name? What's his name? Ken Shamrock or something. Oh, okay. And he was like the first guy, I think, to do that. and Or he was actually doing MMA first and then wrestling. I'm not sure, but... Okay. And then um, Brock Lesnar, yeah, of course, right? He... That was pretty cool, though, you know? Because he yeah. made that transition and then everyone's like, oh, you know, he's not going to be shit. And then he, like, won the championship really quick, but... Yeah, he was a good fighter, right? I mean, he wasn't that good of a fighter because then he later on, like, he got exposed, like, that he, everyone was, like, just beating at his ass, but. Oh. <laughs> but, um, he definitely was, you know, a good thing. What was that? It's my door. They're here. See no evil. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming to get you. The boogeyman. No, just the cat. Yeah. But yeah. What else we got? Dude, that freaking title is pissing me off. I said, I gotta get the title of this thing. This is my <laughs> mission right now. My purpose in life right now is to get this title of this game, dude. Alright. Are you keep getting that title? I'm gonna go. Go where? Go home. Oh, go home? See no evil? See no evil? Yeah. Or you got, yeah. you wanna talk about something else? Uh, if you want to end it here, that's fine. But uh, let's try to get the title at least. Let's try to find it one more time. What is it? What is it called? It's like a death. It's like I'm, it's not death race. That's a movie. It's like a um, death race video game. PlayStation One. Hold on, hold on. Twisted Metal. There we go. Oh yeah. That's it. Twisted Metal. With the creepy clown on it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, wow. That took like five years, man. Wow. And that hella games for this. 95? Yeah, that was pretty fun, yeah. So 2012. I, I never played this, but I've always seen the covers. Like in that, um, that the rental place I told you about. That was a game that's always used to be on the shelves. Yeah, yeah, used, yeah. Used to be freaked out to, to get that creepy covers. Yo, Twisted Metal, man. Shout out to them. Crazy how long that took. Wow. Okay, now we can move on. I'm just kidding. Now we can move on. Fuck off. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Be gone, bitch. <laughs> but, um, Nate, what, what else? I want to talk about one more thing. I forgot. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. While we're here. Um, what was it? Retrace your steps. Talking about wrestling. Talking about wrestling, Casino Evo. Yeah, wrestling. The, the Elimination Chamber. Oh, yeah. You talking about that? No, but I remember I was once, I went a couple times, like, when I was younger, like, to the movie theater to watch that. Like, so, a event, you know? Like, yeah. And that was pretty intense. To watch those wrestling things or just... Yeah, because there was like people all around, and they're like, "Oh, ah. you know? <laughs> they had those like belts and shit." Oh yeah, yeah, ding, 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 ding. yeah. And then, 
they had also um because it was like breaking up for some reason in the beginning and then everyone's like oh what the fuck you know like worst movie <laughs> ever or show and then they got it again somehow to work but i was like yeah and then <laughs> everyone's like into it and I, I remember that was like elimination chamber pay-per-view or something mm. pay-per-view there's shots pay-per-view pay-per-view bro pay-per-view yeah, they used to have this thing on pay-per-view, like my aunt's house. It's like I always had that one channel, so I just pay-per-view stuff. It's like it'll be on once in a while. You know what I mean? And like those kind of channels for some reason. You know what's crazy is like how they just like low-key destroyed like free cable, you know? It's crazy. Destroyed free cable? Yeah, because cable used to be free, remember? Yeah. Like you could get I an mean, an antenna and then you can get like channels and shit. Yeah, I mean, that does like the basic stuff. Yeah, but if you want to get like HBR, like this bigger network, you have to yeah, pay. Yeah, but does that still work or no? Antennas? Yeah. Yeah, they, they still exist, but you only get basic channels. Like yeah, but first... here it doesn't, you can't even get basic channels anymore. Really? Yeah, it's not, it's not, they like took it out. Like you can't even get a signal. Oh, wow. And they only <laughs> put, um, you have to get like a specific streaming thing or antenna or whatever box and pay for it also <laughs> per year oh wow so you can't get, like the, get free cable they got those big uh german monopolies for that yeah yeah that's crazy i mean you could also probably get like antenna uh you know or a satellite dish or something you know but yeah it's you know i don't know if that's that's probably effective as well but yeah, I mean, the, the idea would be, like, to just have just internet and then have, like, whatever you find, like, Netflix or Hulu or these, like, streaming services. But the thing is, like, if you get just the internet, that's more expensive than having a cable combination for some reason, you know? Yeah. So it's, if you pick your poison there. Yeah, those, <laughs> those fucking plans for telecom and stuff. Oh, my God. Yeah, 100, like, 110 bucks a month or whatever, 200 bucks a month. You got to pay for that yeah, just for I cable. Yeah, that's, that's crazy, but... It's like, I remember my, my grandparents, they had like a fucking exclusive line to Bosnia or some shit. They still or have like it to this day, yeah. Some other stuff. I don't even know. And they paid like hundreds, thousands of bucks for that shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, just use Skype. It's free, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Skype, yeah. And no, no, no. I need to talk to the phone. Oh, talking about, yeah, the lines. Oh, yeah. The phone I don't know lines? if they still have that. I don't think so, but no. That's uh, they were just like spending so much money on that. It's crazy. Yeah, people are over there. They're starting to realize what Facebook Messenger is or what <laughs> Skype is more and more. Yeah, over here more quickly than in the states for some reason. Really, that's funny. Yeah, that's interesting because they're poorer here, you know, and they yeah. and they get more, you know. They adjust, like they make. That's the survival mentality, evolutionary mentality. They have to. It's true. Like poor people and lazy people usually have like the most efficient ways of doing shit. It's just they just like are poor and lazy. Like they don't want to. I think that was a Bill Gates quote actually about that too. It's like he's true, like, I rather... that's a true I... quote. Like if you, I rather have a lazy person do the job because he's gonna find the quickest way to get it done. You know? Yeah. It is true, you know, but of course he has to do some shit, but also, yeah. you know, but, um, like in the, in the big picture, you know, if it's, he's, I don't have to track his every moment to know that he's working. Like those yeah. types of like bosses and shit. I hate that. Like I would never want to be like that, you know? Right. I would just be like, okay, if you don't get it done by this day, then, you know, you're, you're done. Oh, fuck. Like, yeah. Don't say you're gonna do it, and then you don't do it. It's like that's that. If you break that trust there, then how am I gonna keep on like trusting with other shit? You know, that's right. Right. It's just like simple shit. I don't need to track every hour. What are you working on? What are you not working? I just need to know. Okay, do you get the job done? Is it going good? Is the if I have a client or whatever, are they happy, satisfied? Then everything's fine but are you micromanaging me right now micromanaging micromanaging that, you gotta yeah, macro, a, the macro. Macro, macro the macro macro micro the macro guys but yeah micro the, yeah 
that's a that's a common thing that they say like in corporate like oh don't micromanage you know but yeah yeah micromanaging ma- macro yeah some people actually need that you know like they need to be but that's kind of stupid though at the same time like why would i have to hire somebody like how you said yeah and check every five minutes like dude like <laughs> what's the point of hiring you then there is people that do that right but yeah they they usually are not having i think i tend to think as successful business as they could right because yeah they're just wasting time like wondering what other people are doing instead of you know trying to make the company better or themselves but micromanagement it's all about clear visions guys yeah it's funny because when i was in high school we had like this debate like with my friends like oh what's better working hard or working smart you know like we had this like big debate for like a couple minutes both. in class and i said i said both like no I'd rather work smart. I'd rather work hard, whatever, like this. I'm like constant back and forth. I'm like, you can't pick a side, really. It's like, yeah. you need both. Like, what's the point of arguing this? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, they want to make everything a side, and, you know, like, yeah. But we talk about it all the time. So, let's end it here. Social distancing pussies. Goodbye. <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> Episode 25 in the building. Play we'll Twist the Metal. We'll get one tomorrow in again, but. We'll see. Yeah. We'll keep you updated. All right, man. Not. <laughs> Bye. Peace.